Hey, this is Paul Cardulo with Gruesome Magazine, and I'm here today with our very own Doc Rotten to talk about the movie Guardians, which we caught recently at the Genre Blast Film Festival. How you doing, Doc? I'm doing great. I am so excited to sit here and talk about Guardians. Can't wait to get into this film from Mark A.C. Brown. Oh, good deal. Well, can you first tell us a little bit about Genre Blast? Well, Genre Blast is a film festival uh, up in Northern Virginia. This is its second year. It's uh, it, They moved the venue this year to the Alamo Draft House in Winchester, which was a great venue for this. Uh, but the thing about Genre Blast is that it's a genre film festival. It's not straight up horror like we normally do. So we get exposed to some other types of films, uh, some comedy, some action, uh, adventure, and, and sci-fi, and fantasy even, and then some weird WTF films. And it, it really works well. It ends up being a nice little family of films that uh, makes for an entertaining uh, weekend, for certain. Oh, definitely. Well, can you tell us what, uh, what kind of genre Guardians fits into? Tell us a little bit about that film. Uh, well, Guardians is, it is basically a comedy. Uh, it, but it has a hint of supernatural, and it also has a little bit of home invasion. So it it has, uh, you know, our genre in it. But it is basically a comedy. Uh, it's from the UK, and it is about a, uh, I guess a, uh, I don't really understand exactly what these people are, but they end up living in a house for free and taking care of it in exchange for room and board. Uh, they are guardians of a house, and they uh, our our lead character Mark Pendergrass as Carlson moves into one. Uh, the other guardian is uh, Lavender, played by David Whitney, and there's some hints of what's in the house or what may be in the house, and then these other gentlemen find out about this as well, and they think there's actually like uh, valuables uh, in the basement, and uh, where they basically do a home invasion to find out where it is and things get crazy and wacky. It's um, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, very interesting, very character-driven, but it is hilarious. And the biggest reason for it being as fun and as funny as it is is because of Matt Pendergrass and David Whitney. They are a joy uh, to watch together. There, There's a real chemistry between them, and especially from David Whitney, who plays Lavender, the, the, the one that's there, who is very... Um, I guess he's the most, I don't know, he, he, <laughs> he's basically a prick, but he's probably the most likable prick that you would ever run across. He, he ends up kind of stealing the movie from the, from the rest of the cast. But uh, yeah, I really dig this film. It, it was my favorite of the weekend, and it was also the first one. It was the, uh, the first film of the weekend, and it's, it really set an interesting tone for me personally for, for John Blast this year. Well, aside from their their relationship, are there any kind of uh, strange goings on that uh, that may have added to the humor in the film? Uh, well, there is. <laughs> <laughs> well, is there anything you could say without, I guess, giving away too much? I guess. <laughs> well, let's just say that the person that actually uh, kind of arranges the houses, um, I'm, I'm not really sure if he owns the houses or if he's just like the broker or something. It's really kind of a weird, weird situation of uh, uh, you know from the outside looking in, but. He ends up um, having these parties of a certain deviant type, <laughs> and uh, Lavender, you know, helps set them up, and uh, uh, Carlson is unaware of everything. So it ends up with uh, uh, these uh, awkward exchanges with people in uh, very, uh, how would you say, they're interesting, interesting, <laughs> very set of undress, <laughs> yeah, yes. and uh, and, that, and that plays all the way through. Um, of course, when the the two fellows that come in and uh, hold them hostage, um, there's a really interesting exchange between them because uh, the uh, kind of their attitudes and how they want to handle this uh, situation is is uh, a bit of a conflict in a funny way. Good stuff. <laughs> well, uh, can you uh, give us your uh, favorite scene, your score, and your final thoughts? Uh, well, definitely want to recommend Guardians. It is a blast. It, uh, if you get a chance to catch it at a film festival, I recommend it. If you find it on Netflix, which I uh, would say it eventually will end up there, uh, definitely put it on your queue. It is is a fun little film to watch uh, on on a you know an evening with maybe a few brews. <laughs> a few brews definitely help. Um, I think you'll hear a lot from David Whitney in in the future. He was 
he was a delight. He was also there at the festival and uh, was very funny and charming as well in person. Uh, my score is going to be um, uh, 4.25 out of 5. And my favorite scene is, um, it, it's kind of, I think it's the entire scene when they, the home invasion happens, where they have them kind of tied up in the kitchen. The, the house itself has, is basically a character in this movie. And the way the room is set up um, in the kitchen and then I guess the dining area, there's like this one little small window that you can peep through. I guess you could hand food through. And you see the one character, Matt Pendergrass, is Carlson, kind of peeping through. And it's just funny the way they position things. Uh, there's another scene that I, I could say is when they're stuck in the bathroom uh, on the downstairs floor and there's three of them stuck in this tiny little room and um, there's some dialogue between them where they realize uh, like, a, like a funny gag earlier in the film kind of has a resolution in that scene. And it's a really smart, intelligent, and witty film. Good stuff. Well, very cool. Um, definitely some one to keep, keep a lookout for. Thanks, Doc. And uh, good night. Good night. Be sure to visit GruesomeMagazine.com to listen to the other gruesome podcasts, Hard News Radio, and Decades of Horror. Also check out the Gruesome Magazine Quarterly, available in digital and print-on-demand format. <laughs>